Oh boy, welcome back sports fans. Mike Kretz here. A lot of sports to get to tonight. We're going to jump right in. CMU's first RMAC game at Bronson tonight, taking on Black Hill State. Let's get you in the arena right now. Daniela Turner in the house, putting her fingerprints all over this thing early, scoring the Mavs first seven points. Here's three of them. Knocking down the tray off the assist from Sophie Anderson, but Yellow Jackets hang around hard. Watch Haley Weathersby go to work, knocking down the baseline jumper here in the second quarter. This is what the Yellow Jackets were doing so well, hitting those long three balls. This time it's Nikki Van Wick getting the Black Hills three more. Uh, later, Weathersby, you know she's got that mid-range going, but Black Hills are up 24-17, but here comes the Mavs. Savannah Domgard busting that needed three, and maybe the most impressive part of the Mavs during this stretch was their defense. Sophie Anderson skying her way in there to steal a rebound, draws a foul as well. Later, here she comes again. Yellow Jacket coming baseline, blocked by Anderson, being a menace on D. So, too, was Kelsey Siemens in control there. And, oh, by the way, you've still got to deal with Turner on this side, stroking her fadeaway with a hand in her face. Mavs down by two and looking to keep it that way again. Another Black Hills take getting stuffed by Siemens and then coming down this way. Watch the offensive set right here. Picture perfect work. Mavs employing multiple screens with the ball in Mariah Martin's hand and Turner wide open thanks to the Siemens screen. Great stuff there. And here too in the transition game, Martin bringing it down, keeps her head up, finds Siemens who puts her head down so she can find her spot, fires away. The type of game you hate to leave. It went to overtime, but CMU would win it 77 to 71. All right.